Hi guys, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. What? I'm back at Mega Aquarium. Well, in this video, I already understand I already finished all the main campaign, but now we're looking at the DLC, which is right here, Freshwater Frenzy. Now, like the name says, this um, campaign, it's its own special campaign, will focus on freshwater fish and new challenges. I started this a while back just to get the feel of it, and then I stopped because I was starting to do other games. But let's see what I can do with Freshwater Frenzy. So we're going to start here. Welcome to Hi Hita Hitama? Yeah, Hitama. The owner of the small saltwater aquarium wants to explore the exciting new world of freshwater exhibits, and they need your help. As you design your, their new displays, you'll learn the subtle dif differences between saltwater and freshwater care. As you proceed, you'll need to complete various tasks to increase the selection of freshwater animals available to you. Only then will you be able to grow Hitama to an aquarium renowned for both its saltwater and freshwater exhibits. Okay. The owner has already secured t access to two freshwater species. Your first task is to build a tank to house them. Complete the objective and then open the aquarium when you are ready. To access freshwater animals, click the following toggle in the livestock menu. Okay. So what I need to do... Build a single tank with at least one convict cichlid, cichlid and at least one guppy in the same tank. Okay. Alright. So... Still can't believe I remember how to do this. Let me go down here. Just making some room. Okay, well. I think I'll do the tank right over here. Um. Yeah, that'll work. Actually, let me move it to make it a little more center. There we go. And... Let me see this. There. There. Okay. And they want bloodworms and brine shrimps. Okay. Here we go. Bloodworms. And brine shrimp. And okay, so the convict. So you go up to this tab here and switch. So warm water. Both of these are warm water. There needs to be at least four. One or in a pair. Okay, so I just need two. I'll put two. Um, it looks like it doesn't hurt anybody. And I'll put like two or five of those and they want plants. Okay, so... I'll do the power combi for now. Stick that right there. See, we're on fresh water now. And as you can see, when I put these plants in there, switches them automatically. Smishes the dirt or the sand at the bottom to be more muddy like fresh water. Funny how that works. Um put some more. Those in there. Looks like I still got yeah, still got plenty of room. Okay, isn't that a beautiful tank or what? Okay. Let me get some more staff in here. Cool. Um before I do that. I'm just gonna add these there. And whole station, just to be safe. And um my guests want to have a place to sit. Go. Okay. Add trash cans. 
definitely want to add trash cans. And finally, restrooms. Cool. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and add the fish. So I'll put two in there. And wait, how many does this want? Okay. Two in here. Oops. One, two. Alright, now all that's left is to open the aquarium. Excellent. Great work, you just built your first many first of many freshwater tanks. As you can see, Building freshwater tanks is a lot like building saltwater ones, however there are some differences. For example, you might have noticed that you can't put saltwater plants in a freshwater tank. You need special freshwater ones for that. On the other hand, items like caves and rocks can be put in either type of tank with the exception of live rocks. Uh, another difference is that protein skimmers do not work on freshwater tanks, and it probably goes without saying you can't connect saltwater and freshwater tanks with pumps. Okay. Remember to use the toggle switch. Yes. Alright. We're getting our first people here. Let's start learning the large filter. The owner is pleased with your first tank, but they are impatient to see more. You now have your final objectives. You must increase, increase the overall variety of freshwater animals in the aquarium and also ensure your freshwater exhibits are central in your aquarium design. A certain proportion of prestige must come from your freshwater displays. The first step is to reach rank 5 to increase okay, freshwater animals. Okay. So I need to reach rank 5. Okay. Ah, here we go. Midas cichlid. Alright, I'll do the Midas cichlid. What do I have in here? Yellow tank, king, black bar, flame. The royal grandma. I will be right back. I totally forgot I was supposed to be listening to a phone call, <laughs> for a phone call today, and I have a, that was not the one I was looking for, that was one of those dumb telemarketers. Then over here, brief squirrel, zebra moray, I think you guys would appreciate a little more oomph in your tanks. Do you want a rock? I give you rock. Alright, so that looks prettier. There we go. And you... Get you some cool eel grass in there, yeah. Nothing wrong with eel grass. Alright, and let me speed this up. Start raking in all that good stuff. Okay. So they got King Devil They don't have the oblique line Dottie back, so I can do that. So they put it somewhere. Fox face doesn't have a red tail. And doesn't have the knuckle. Okay, uh, red tail will not eat the knuckle. Okay. I can make a small tank for them. Corner tank should do the trick. Um, let's move that to be a little more center here. There we go. And there. What we got? Corkscrew Valis. Yeah, I'll buy that. Cool! Alright, I'll hold on to that. Rainbow Fish. Have you any interest in Bozeman's rainbow? It's a truly delightful freshwater species. Can be a little tricky to keep in mind. To keep in mind, needs lots of foliage and some open space. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, I will do that here shortly. First, I need to get some more of these prestige points up. Alright, the oblique likes rocks. Uh, you don't really care. And... Okay. Um... Okay. That's all I need to do then. There we go, and to be on the safe side, I'll do some more right there. And we're gonna do this as salt water. Yay! Okay. I got the cichlid. Okay, Midas cichlids are territorial, which means they can share a tank with each other, but only up to a point. If you cram too many of them into a, too small a tank, they'll start to fight. Freshwater fish are mean. Alright, some rocks there. Just take care of this here. And I'll put little, little rocks. Okay. Um, so we're orange, green, and you don't care. So, uh... Here's green. Here's orange. Great. Just move some stuff over here. Okay. Uh, one oblique lined. One. Nice. One red tail. And a little blue knuckle. Great. Okay, so that's done. Cool, alright, so now let's go ahead and get to work on that freshwater tank. Which I'm gonna make by expanding this area over here. But before that, yeah, I'm getting something over here. Okay, so I'm gonna make a lagoon tank. Yeah, it's coming together. Alright, so let me... Do I have pumps available, though? That's... Yes, I do. Okay. Let me... Make a little box right here. This should be close enough. If it's not, I'll just move the tank. Oh no! I gotta get stuck in there. Can't get out. There you go. Okay. What's going on over here? Oh, seriously? Okay. Rank up. Alright, well, I'm rank 5. Alright, cool. Nice job getting to rank 5. You can now unlock a bunch of new freshwater animals using your ecology. That's not all. From from this rank of onwards, you have access to accessories for alpha new tools to help optimize your aquarium. Accessories can be equipped on staff to improve their performance. Complete the optional objective if you like giving the new backpack accessory a try. I will in just a second. I need to uh, get this done. Alright, let me see here. Okay, I can fit it. Alright, let me do the large filter. And I'll use the power heater there. Power heater there. And my eels cannot grow up. Because there's too many things in it. Okay, um... I'm just expanding this a little more so that way I can add stuff as needed. Okay, so it wants me to do the rainbow bows. But first of all, let me put this in here. Let me go make a big old lagoon take. Nice. Alright. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Power light. Sufficient heating. Alright, so this needs more heat. Okay, that's fine. Let me get rid of these. And put this sucker on there. Excellent. Alright. And we got the Bozeman's Rainbow. Alright, let me see you guys. 
Okay, let's do the Red Striped Earth Eater. Easy group of at least five Bozeman Rainbows. Open space. Requires open space. Okay, uh, fresh water. Combined size must not exceed 50% of tank capacity. Right. These six singular of hair. Well, Pastor Wimps. Well, these guys are not wimps. So. What's the capacity here? Should be fine. Five to ten. I'll put one. Alright, let me get these guys their stuff here. And veggies. Okay. Here you go. Go. There you go. And for you. Whew. Okay. What we got here? I need to unlock the backpack dispenser, which I have not done yet. All right. I need to go halt. Okay. I need to go get rid of some of these guys. There we go. There, now you can grow up. Okay. That should do it. I'm gonna add a little more. Get some nice wood in there. Okay. The red striped earth here. Now the blind can't touch it. You just unlocked the right red striped earth eater. They have a couple of care requirements you've not seen before. The first is explore. This means they actually have a lot of different types of tank decor to explore. This includes different types of plants, rocks, caves, but also themed decorations like the barrel and shell. The second is bogwood lover. This means they like to have a certain amount of bogwood in the tank. Bogwood is a new type of aquascaping. It behaves just like plants, rocks, and caves. Simply add enough to the tank to, to meet the cumulative requirements of all the animals. Okay. Then let me... Alright, they should be okay. Should be good enough for them. Okay. Um, let me do this. And they want drinks over here, so. Oh, I forgot I have the chocolate thing ready. Alright. Come get your chocolate. And here's the trash can. Clean up after yourself. Okay. There we go. Now, I'll head towards this area over here. Make this a little more open. Okay, um... So, let's do the red striped earth eater. So, wimp cannot be housed with a bully. That's a bully. Okay. Needs to be at least two of them. Okay. So, let me move over here. For my tanks. I'll do a deep corner tank. Okay, power pump. Well, we take that. Might even add it onto that. Nice. Okay. 
Alright, let me get this poor girl out of here. Helen. Blind Cave Tetra. Ten foil bar. You've just unlocked the Blind Cave Tetra. Blind Cave Tetras are nibblers. They have a habit of attacking the thin, flowing appendages of passing animals. Animals that are prone to getting nibbled are marked with a nibbleable icon. Just don't mix the two together and you'll be fine. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's take a look at this. And here. Alright, the Midas Sigloid is very big now. Okay, so we're gonna do these guys. So they need caves, wood, and at least five things to explore. What is that? Need crustaceans, but we don't have crustaceans, so we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so let's add the cave here and corkscrew valis and bogwood pieces. How many bogwood pieces? Just the one, okay. And I'll get you some nets to explore. I think they'll like that. And um. we go. Can't fit any more in there. What else? I guess we'll add that too. Ooh. Can I put the anchor in? I can put the anchor in there. Oh, it's gonna love that. There you go. And one more. And I'll be the lifeguard on duty. Okay. Um, and you guys eat veggies. So let me get your veggies out here. Level up these guys real quick. Cleaning. Okay. Alright. One and two. And I'm gonna add some more stuff back here. Okay, the tinfoil barb. You just unlock the tinfoil barb. These are, can be a little problematic because they are both a plant lover and plant destroyer. Plant destroyers have a chance to destroy a plant each day, and the chances it decrease the more plants there are in the tank. The trick with plant destroyers is to add sufficient plants so the destruction is spread out and no single plant gets too much attention. Complete the following objective to get your hands on another freshwater plant, the Paku. Freshwater plant destroyer, the Paku. Okay. Yeah, I can handle that. Cool. Alright, um... Sponge... And the tool station. Right there. Okay. So, let's make a tin foil barb exhibit. Right after I put that bench down. And they need toilets. So... Okay. So I need to make freshwater tank with tin full barb, all requirements, men, zero plants, destruction chance. Okay. Um, they also need a lot of two by two square of space. Okay. Active swimmer. All right. I actually put the blind cave tetra in with them. Alright. Take care of that. Right. Um, I'll go ahead and do the backpack thing just to get that out of the way. Okay, so... I'll do a deep wall tank over here. Get out of there. Okay. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's... Whew. Okay. Let me add 
the door here. And a platform route right there. Okay. One, two. And one. Hello, I'm a local inventor and I have the most ingenious design for a new tank. The key feature is a cemented platform from which the public can view the tank. To be honest, the tank is an attraction all by itself. You should be willing to trial it. Jetty tank to free animals. Yeah, sure. Okay. So you're gonna have to wait till I finish this one. Alright, tinfoil barb. Plants, you need your space. Okay, well. And then. That should give him plenty of space. Okay. And then the barbs, they eat what? They eat cockles. Okay. Alright, before I get onto that, just put this over here real quick. And these things. Okay, there's that. And... And here's your trash can. Okay, so let's add these tin foil barbs. Needs to be about three. One, two, three. Did it! Looks like you master our keeping plant destroyers here another for your collection. Okay, a Paku. There we go. Alright, close and let me add. Do you want veggies? Yeah. Veggies. Working on it. Okay, and then. I think it's safe for me to put these guys in there. One, two, three. Nice. Seems like they're happy. Okay. So now I need jetty tank with three different animals and all requirements met. All right, let me go over here and try that. You guys. Okay, here we go. Alright, so unlock the backpack dispenser, which is now right here, and I'm gonna put it. Where? Put it in here. Okay. Click on that. So let me go to staff here. Manage. Uh, no accessory. I'm gonna assign you the backpack. Okay, and they're gonna go get the pack backpack. There we go! Nicely done. The backpack accessory is useful when you have a lot of animals all eating the same type of food, as it reduces the number of times your feeders have to return to a dispenser for a refill. You might even consider grouping your animals into tanks via food type to maximize the utility of this accessory. Okay, cool. <sighs> Alright, so we got that one done. Now let's do a jetty tank. Gonna make it big though. Alright. Nice open space here. Let's find that jetty tank. Cool. And I'm actually gonna move it a little bit. Oop, wrong one. Let's do it right there. Okay. Um, I might. Did I unlock the big pump? I did, okay. 
think I can actually, I can reach it. Whoops. From there, which is great. Okay. And let's see, the big filter's on them. Great. All right. So we're obviously gonna do fresh water over here. Also, what's going on here? Ah! Alright, I need to go add some more plants! The plants are dying! Are you still happy? Yes, I know. Okay, let me add more plants. Oh, why are you dying? Like a swimming space? Ah! Okay. Don't die! I need more plants! Just quit destroying my plants! There. That should be okay. Are you okay? Okay, still gonna destroy some of my plants. Cause you're a little jack wagon. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not giving you that chance. That's what I thought. Alright, I'll need to put you in the in the big tank. In the jetty tank that I'm working on. Okay, that's no big deal. Uh, what is a big deal is that these guys need to get leveled up. Ugh. Alright. Let me put some stuff big time in here. Let me grab that Paku. Alright, Paku. You coming with me. Right in there. Seriously. Okay. No big no big deal. Just needs a little more heat. There we go. And there's veggies in there, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. So we got the one t guy in there. Uh, the Paku really doesn't bother anybody, so that's nice. So let me do... I'll do Bozeman's Rainbow in there. Shoot, did I have enough in there? No, I need one more. Okay. There. Okay. And then I'll add. I don't want to do any tinfoil barb. I'll do the guppies. Great! Okay, so that's done. We do the brine shrimp over here. Okay. And do you guys need some toilets? Okay. Let's get you some padded benches over here. Not doing too bad. It's 
But yeah, they're actually like really liking it. Okay. What else? I know my prestige is trying to go up. Alright, so that's the tinfoil barb. I should not destroy too many plants. And I don't think this guy's gonna be destroying any. Yeah, he's good. He won't be destroying anything anytime soon. What else? I need to get more fresh water displays. Okay. I'll put some Bozeman's rainbows in here. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, that's right. All right, let me let me sell them. I'll put some guppies in there. And there we go. Get some more prestige. What we got here. All right, the Paco has grown. Let me see. All right, Paco. Darn, it's huge. Okay. I might be able to put another Midas cichlid in here. Oh, but it's a bully. It'll pick on the guppies. Okay. I don't want to do that. What about in here? Oh, Pastor Wimps. Okay, I could probably put a, a Midas cichlid in here. Just one, though. Nice. Okay, let's do cleaning. Oops, let's just learn fixing. Alright, let's see if we can get more people to come over there. Darn. Just can't get that little bit up, it's just going back and forth. Now it's back down to 200. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Okay, let's see. Maybe I can do a whole other tank over here. And I will do that. Yeah, I might be able to do it. Sorry, mom's texting me. <laughs> okay. I'm almost there. Let's try making another jetty tank here. And this time I'll fill it with the Tetras. Alright, um, it needs to be like Super heated. Okay, great. So we're going to put the blind cave tetras in there. So, yeah. All right. Okay. 
way. Alright, so let's put those tetras in here. About three. One, two, three. Okay, happy. Happy. Got blood worms in there, so it should be good to go. Then what else can I put in with those tetras? I'll do some more Bozeman's rainbows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I could probably squeeze the Midas cichlid in there. Maybe? Yeah, I think I can. I'll, I'll put two. Hopefully they won't get too territorial and start killing each other. Okay. I think they're liking it. Come on. Come on. You can get to 500. You can get to 500. You know you can. Start moving more people towards that area. See if that works. Jeez, I just can't get that prestige up. Feed him a little bit more. I'll level him up, not feed him. <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, you're halfway there. Come on. You're halfway there. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Got it. Okay. Impressive work. Kitama was once just a small marine aquarium. Now it is known throughout the land for its freshwater exhibits. However, all good things must come to an end. You've received word of an interesting project at Pascova, Pes Pescovka, and they want you to head it up. You can continue to build here at Hitama for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button in the bottom left. So, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. And I'm actually going to end this episode right here, and I will see you guys in the next one. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye